How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing a random assortment of booster packs. So we have some Lost Origin here, we also have some more recent packs with the Paldea Evolved, we also have the Astro Radiance right here, three of these, and this was supposed to be English Crown Zenith, but it is German Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith nonetheless though, which is nice, and I also have, as you've probably seen in the thumbnail, I have four German Ultra Prism packs. These are gonna be incredibly, incredibly nice, so I'll be inserting these throughout the video. But I guess let's get on with the first booster pack right here of Lost Origin, I guess. We'll mix it up here and there. But let's just get this started. I always like doing these types of videos. You know, with a with a lot of different booster packs, since you get to see so many cards, so many different cards, and obviously from different eras. As in this one, we have we have Sun and Moon, we have a Spirit Tomb, a non holographic there. But yeah, we have so many cards from so many different eras here. Actually, three eras, believe it or not. That's kind of crazy to me. Three different eras worth of cards. Alright, I guess we'll do one of the modern ones, quote-unquote, next with the Paldea Evolved right here. Actually, I can't remember. What did I pull from Paldea, Paldea Evolved? Oh, I guess I pulled the, um, the Skeledurch, the SIR, from my booster box, so that was pretty nice. I am still missing the, the Iono, though. Still want to pull that one. There's, of course, so many other ones in here. Um, probably not, not the starters, since I already have those. Although, a second Meowskerada, I wouldn't say no to, I do have to admit. Let's see if we have something here. Nope, just a holographic Weavile in this one. And here is the code card. Enjoy. Okay, I think it's time to insert one of the Ultra Prism Booster Packs right here. Let's see if we can get something from these. It would be pretty nice. I mean, the 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 card that you want to pull from this is is the Lily. Because that one is... I, I, I think that's actually the most expensive one from um, from Ultra Prison. Might also be the most expensive um, Full Art Trainer, currently. It's like crazy expensive at the moment. Probably has been. Okay, we have a... we have an Eevee. We have a Magmar. Let's see, don't know the English name for that one. We have a Prism card, yo! I've kind of forgotten about these prism cards. I actually really like those. Okay, and... Oh, right. Nothing in this one. Well, no, I can't see that. We have a prism card, which I actually quite like, to be honest. I kind of like the prism cards. A prism giratina. Fitting to pull that one out of a... Out of a giratina pack. Let me just show this one up close if I can. There we go. I actually kind of like the, the prism cards right here. Very, very nice. All right, which one do we do next? Uh, let's do Astral Radiance next, I guess. Astral Radiance. I think I I pretty much already have everything that I want from, from Astral Radiance. Like I have the um, the Dialga, I have the, the Palkia, of course. The Arceus, is the Arceus in here or is the Arceus in Brilliant Stars? I can't remember. I see something shiny up there. That might be a spoiler of what's to come. Let's see, let's see what it is. Ooh, it's sparkly. It's very sparkly. What is it gonna be? It's a Rainbow Rare Kamado. Very, very nice. A Full Art Trainer? I won't say no to that one. Won't say no to a Full Art Trainer. Whoa, okay. I, I do have to admit, though, I, I didn't always like these, these Rainbow Rare Trainers, but they're kind of growing on me, to be honest. They're actually kind of growing on me. Alright, let's do another Paldea Evolved, and then we'll insert another another Ultra Prism one. Hey, we're not going home empty-handed. That is a great pull. That is a great pull. I guess I can show off the, the code card already. There you go. And then we'll see if we can get something from Paldea Evolved. Hoping for the Yona. What else is in here? Man, I've kind of forgotten since I have most of the cards that I want. Um, the Yona would be nice, but I wouldn't go out of my way to, to like, buy it or anything. Nope. Just a Wigglytuff for this one, and an Electric-type energy. Nose goes for this one. Scarlet and Violet so far kind of disappointing, but 
you know, maybe the sudden moon error can fix this. I'll actually try to do the, um, the, the pack trick for these ones going forward. Let's see. Ultra Prism. Man, I just wish some of these older sets were actually more affordable. But, mm, they probably never will without a reprint. Same, I always had in, in mind, like, maybe opening a, um, a Cosmic Eclipse booster box. Because it was sitting at 500 or like 350 for the longest time. And then it like recently picked up, or like a while ago. And now there's like no way where I can ever purchase a booster box. Okay, we have a Gardenia here. We have a Per Ugly. We have a Floatzel, I do believe. We have a um, Chimchar. There we go. Pachirisu. We have a Alolan Sen Shrew, I want to say. Yeah, Sen Shrew. I, I was correct. Okay. Let's see. We have an Alolan Vulpix. We have a Bronzong, I want to say. We have a Reverse Shinx. Very nice. And let's see. Yo, okay. We have a Silverly GX. Silverly GX. Nice. We've got something from from um, Ultra Prison. That is really cool. Very, very nice. All right. Let me get this energy out of here. And let's go on with a with a German Crown Zenith pack. This was supposed to be an English pack. But unfortunately, I guess I didn't even notice it while unboxing my order. I just checked everything off. Yeah, everything is here. I didn't even notice because this is from a from a tin. These two um, these two Crown Zenith booster boxes, or no, these these two um, Crown Zenith booster packs. There we go. So I didn't even notice. I might have just looked correct. It doesn't really matter to me, you know. It doesn't really matter to me. But let's see. Maybe we can get something from from German Crown Zenith. Same as we did with with German Ultra Prism. Let's see. Nothing here. And nothing here. Nope. Not in this pack. Maybe the last pack still holds something for us. Let's open the... I think this is the last Lost Origin pack right here. Have we gotten something from Lost Origin? Nope. If we were to get something from Lost Origin, it would probably be in this pack. Right. Here is the code card. Let's try doing the card trick for for the last few packs right here. You know, we don't have to do them anymore for the Scarlet and Violet era. But let's see. A Bomb Snow. We got a Panic Mask. A Seal. We've got a Zoroa. Snover. We've got a Machop. A Pikachu. I love this illustration. This is a really nice illustration. We have... Yo, we've got a Nessa! Holy moly, okay. I pulled the Bea before this in... In like, it was my Charizard Ultra Premium collection opening. I pulled the Bayer that's like throwing a... I don't actually know what what Pokeball she's throwing. Might be an Ultra Ball or something. But yo, okay. We have two full art trainers from this random assortment of booster packs. You know, I'm already happy with this. We have a Kamado, we have a Nessa, and we also have two consolation prizes, if you will. This is definitely my highlight now, the Nessa. Very, very nice. Actually, I can... Do it like this, I suppose. I do have enough space. Um, we have Astro Radiance. Let's do the... Let's do one more Astro Radiance, I guess. And then we'll open another Ultra Prism. We'll save one Ultra Prism for last. Let's see. Astro Radiance. Ooh, it's tough. Astro Radiance used to be my favorite set, actually. Or, like, one of my favorite sets from the Sword and Shield era. But now, I mean, with Crown Zenith... It might actually be Crown Zenith, because it's just so much fun to open. And there are so many cards that you can pull that you'd be very, very happy with. I you know the Trainer Gallery cards are kind of good. Ah, uh, it depends. It depends, I guess. Yo, okay, talking about Trainer Gallery cards, and we have a Kingdra, and we have an, an Upside Down Lilligand. Whoops. And an Upside Down Hizuian Lilligand. That's kind of like bent like a Pringle for some reason. Okay, well that was a nice double pull, I suppose. Very, very nice at the end there. I love this Kingdra. I have this in Japanese, but I love this Kingdra. It features Claire from um, Gen 2, 
the dragon type gym gym leader from Gen 2. Um, she isn't featured that often in cards, unfortunately. So it is a really, really nice card. I hope she's featured more often. That would be kind of kind of cool. I really like her. But let's see. Let's see if we can get something in this Ultra Prism Booster Pack right here as well. Let's turn it around. Here is the code card for that one. We'll do one, two, three to the front. We'll do the energy right here, if there is a pull. And let's see. We've got a Manaphy. We've got a Lily, okay. We've got an Uncommon Lily. These cards are kind of crazy. I don't know if they still are. Um, I'll just put this aside because, you know, this might be crazy. People are going crazy over Lily. Anything, not even just a Lily card, like any card that even features Lily is currently insanely expensive. Okay, we have a... I have no idea what what this one would be in English. Sorry about that. Can't really translate. We have a Psychic Energy. And we have nothing. We have a Sand, sh sand Slash. That's tough to say. Try to say that three times in a row very fast. All right. Three packs here left, and then we have one more Ultra Prism. Let's open, I guess, the one that gave us the bad luck so far first. The Paldea Evolved. Um, honestly, at this point, I'm not really expecting anything anyways from, from Paldea Evolved, since it has been giving us so much bad luck. But, you know, maybe this pack will change it. I'd be happy to be in for a surprise right here. But let's see what we can get. We have an Electrode. We have a Vigoroth. Love that illustration from Ghidorah. Amazing stuff. We have a Grusha. That's a nice one. We have a Fighting Ule. And we have nothing. We have a Palmot. Okay. Well, that's... That is Paldea Evolved for you, I suppose. We didn't get anything from Paldea Evolved. But hey, maybe Astro Radiance, even though we already get got something from that one? Hmm? Who knows? Actually, no, Pel Astro Radiance has given us, like, two pulls back to back. Um, if this one has a pull as well, then that would be three pulls in a row. That would be kind of insane. That would be kind of insane. Here is the code card, of course. Let's do one, two, three to the front. We'll take the energy, put it right there. And let's see. We have a, a Hizuian Heavy Ball. We have a Pardon. We have a Dark Patch, Cricketot, just chilling. We have a Standler, or a multiple, a herd of Standlers, actually. Willfish, Scyther, love the illustration. Also by Ghidorah. We have a Togepi. We have the Electric-type energy. Let's see if we have a Trina Gallery card here. Nope. We could still have a normal pull, let's see. And we have a Mesper. Hey, that's a, that is a holographic. That is not promised in the Sword and Shield era. So that technically counts as a pull, but not really, since that's not what you want to pull. But hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. We have Crown Zenith, and then we have an Ultra Prism pack left, both in German. So let's see if the last two German packs can give us something. I am having high hopes for, for this disintegrating Crown Zenith pack. There we go. That was just disintegrating. Okay, let me get the code card right here. We'll do three to the front. We'll take the energy, put it right here. And let's see. So, what can we get? We have an Ultra Ball. We have a Hammer. We have a Mirapla. We have a Seal. We have a Cricket Tot. We have an Aaron. We have a Riolu. We have the energy, of course, electric type energy. Yo, we have the Manaphy! We got something from Crown Zenith. Very nice. And we have a Galarian Meowth. Okay. Well, at least we got a Trina Gallery card. Or no, Galarian Gallery. Jesus. With all the different terminology, it's kind of hard to keep track. Okay, here we go. The final Ultra Prism pack. Can we get something great? You know, anything. Like anything that has texture. I'd be very, very happy about. Any textured card, I'd be through the roof. It's a Giratina artwork pack. So let's see if we can get something. Man, oh man. Man, oh man. 
Okay, let me just show you the code card. There we go. And we'll do, of course, three to the front. We'll take this one and put it right here. And then let's see if we can get something here. Fire disc, I'm assuming. I don't know. We have the evolution of, um, we have the evolution of Turtwig right here. We have another Paragli. We have Turtwig, speaking of, speaking of which, Riolu. We have a Skurupi. We have a Toxicroak, I think. We have another Eevee. We have our Reverse with the Spirit Tomb. We have, of course, the Leaf Energy. Can we get something? Let's do <laughs> Let's do it, yes, but no, that wasn't, that wasn't correct. We ended up getting only one pull, but hey, this is still pretty nice. You don't see GX card that often anymore, so I'm kind of happy with this. Especially happy with the Nessa and with the Kamado. Um, those two are my highlight for this one, for sure. Well, but anyways, I guess that does it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed this one, then a like would be greatly appreciated. If you didn't like it, then by all means give it a dislike. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for future videos, perhaps. Let's try this YouTube end card thing once again. Right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. And right here is the sub button. Now, once again, you should press this one first, and then you should press this video over here. But other than that, thank you for watching. Peace, peace.